Yo, bro, I'm hungry as shit. Anyway, I'm gonna just get straight to the point. I have a love and hate relationship for this game that we like to call oh Motifix. Why do I have this love and hate relationship so early on? Well, it's really because of Ubisoft. Ubisoft is quite literally the reason why I have a love hate relationship with this game. Like, I like the game because the handling is actually done right. It's not like Need for Speed where, oh, they just listen to a bunch of 12 year old grown men that watch Black Panther and they hear him say grip should be the sole purpose of the game. And all of a sudden, now Need for Speed is just one of the Forza clone because it does everything that Forza does but half assed and goofy as shit. They also did the graphics right. I actually must with how the game looks. Especially if you turn all them shadows off, man. I feel bad for you console niggas, cause I know y'all want to get a PC so bad, so you can turn all that bullshit off. You can actually see where you're going and what you're doing, what you what you're looking at. You know what I'm saying? This game, I like it. But sadly, that doesn't save the fact that I truly hate this game more than I like it. This game has this persistent glitch that's been in the game since last year i'm not joking it's been last year since this shit's been existing and i've been trying so hard to get these motherfuckers to you know actually do something about it because not only that i'm not a sweat before a rap maker i'm a rap maker before a sweat which means i'm gonna want to make my raps first then i'm ever gonna want to you know do races especially since there's no good multiplayer in the game for somebody that's about to come in here and say grand race is the best multiplayer in the game i swear to god if you bring fortnite with cars beta edition and fortnite with cars release into this comment section i will get on your ass there's nothing worthwhile in that like honestly i would much rather get on the crew too and play live battle with only three niggas than that ever touch grand race well fortnite with cars beta edition and get slapped around by niggas who literally only cry about games being too cartoony and shit is because the logic of not being able to use niggas as walls for corners i don't know how many videos i've made on it and with proof that this shit exists but i've made enough videos on it that niggas should know what this glitch is and hopefully i'm hoping ubisoft see this shit and I'm saying this because these niggas are quite literally the reason why this glitch still exists till this day. Like I've went, like I've I've went through this line of tragedy for this game, at least, at least twice. I'm gonna do it again. So the game launched broken as shit, and they didn't do a day one, and there was no such thing as a day one patch for them. They didn't do a day one patch. Mistake number one: <laughs> you always supposed to do at least some form of a day one patch before you just b before anything goes down the line like if you neglect a day one patch and your game is this fucking broken that's strike number one you already and you already stepping closer to the gulag than you think the next one this is this was this was strike number two neglecting the day one patch was left the game all the way it left the game broken all the way until the very first maintenance update which was i think around november I don't, I don't remember. It was in November, October. It was one of those shits. That's when that glitch came around. When that, when that, ma when that maintenance update came through, that's when the glitch came to an existence. There's, there's more that goes down after that. So, there was this car called the Porsche 918 Spider. This car was so broken in the game, and I mean, this shit was more broken than the Zonda if you were to use it in races that involve certain jumps. Other than that, no, that was second. That was the most. That was the second most broken because that shit was inconsistent because of how broken it was. Like it was genuinely broken. But no, this 918 was more broken than anything else in the game. Because if you would have did, if you would have had done anything to it, that shit would straight up crash your game like i swear to god that shit would just straight up crash as soon as you backed out of whatever you were doing unless you was messing with the tuning which i don't think did anything to the game or to the car your game was crashing no matter what you did to it i experienced the worst thing about it because i was making a rap that took so many hours to make especially on top of the fact that, that there was a custom decal glitch that was on release of the game that didn't get fixed until december 6th which i would get to that soon but yeah and then you know, I experienced it because I spent hours on that rap and come to find out that the car was actually that broken. And uh, I never got that rap back. I was very, very upset. Very triggered, in fact. Now we fast forward to December 6th, which was the update that should have had fixed the rap editor. It didn't fix jack shit that it should have fixed. All it did was fix the problem that's been in the game since launch. Not the problem that came in the maintenance update that I'm sure a lot of people voiced about before December 6th even came, which was the Hoonigan update. Fast forward from all that because I can go on and on about the December 6th dumb shit. 
Uh, well, one more thing. Uh, they went on holiday break after that. I mean, Ubisoft. I mean, Ubisoft did too, but primarily Ubisoft. This is this this is where all my you know this is where all the shit is going to. And I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna keep saying this until you know something changed my mind, which I don't think is gonna happen because Ubisoft don't know how to actually be real people. But they don't deserve the holiday break because these motherfuckers went on holiday break knowing that this shit was this broken and they still haven't done jack shit about it till this day. So. Yeah, they don't, they didn't deserve the holiday break. You, I, Ivory Tower did. Ubisoft didn't. Then comes this update, which was the update that involves Black Panther, the dude that single handedly ruined Need for Speed Forever. Yes, uh, he's the reason. Him and the two sidekicks that I will not mention again because I already mentioned them in a video before. You can go look for that if you want to. But yeah, him and his two sidekicks are basically the ones that single-handedly ruined Need for Speed Forever and is now going to be a one of before the clone till the end of time. And uh, some other people too that I don't know, like honestly. Like I'm not even trying to be disrespectful. Like I don't know who any of these people are. The only person I know is Black Panther and that's because I only know him from the fact that he single-handedly ruined Need for Speed Forever until, you know, Kingdom Come. <laughs> but... Yeah, this update was had supposed to have been the update for me. Like, it should have been the update that fixed the rap editor to its entirety. Like, it should have been long ago. That didn't happen. That, that, that didn't happen. That, that didn't happen. It didn't fucking happen. It didn't happen at all in the slightest. <laughs> and, look, I have a whole video expressing how fucking pissed I was. And here's the thing. I know there's people that seen the video and was like, bro, it's not that serious, bro. It's just a rap editor. Just enjoy the damn game. Like, no, bro. I can't enjoy the game when the one thing that matters to me more than racing in the fucking game has been broken since last year, bro. All I care about is the rap editor. And that shit has not been fixed at all. And I've put three cases in the foot of this shit towards Ubisoft. Like, directly to Ubisoft. Both of them, the first two, bots just straight up bots and then nothing was done after that the last one was just straight up being ignored so yeah um uh, you can only imagine how frustrated i was when i had to deal with this shit yeah now i'm at this point where motorfest is like i don't even think i want to i don't i don't think i want to play it no more like i like the game but when you when when there's so much dumb shits going on with this game that you can't even control because it's like if you were to take it in your own hands, niggas would just call you a fucking clout chaser, even though you just want one thing to be fixed, and you could care less who the fuck mentions your name, if they mention your name, you just want the shit to be fixed. Like, I've mentioned it in a video before that has a thousand views, over a thousand views, actually, that the only way that this situation can actually be fixed is if I were to somehow, on some head-ass shit, get in contact with fucking Sid Wash and tell him about the situation. Word for word, bar for bar, and then hopefully he makes a video about it. And I'm saying this because he's he's Ubisoft's most valuable content creator. And that's just how it is. Also, one thing I'm going to throw in real quick because it's just going to put a little bit more light into why I'm saying this. Uh, he mentioned that in the community post before when it came to the scene 7 being passed and him doing the scene, scene 4 videos and shit. That he said that people think that he can get shit patched and shit like that and then mentions that if he if he did have that power that the rap editor will be fixed some other shit too i refuse to go look but the last thing he said also was that there will be a new playlist every month which i'm gonna just i'm gonna just put what i need to say right now he's right but he's wrong at the same time he's right because he doesn't have the power he's wrong because his career has the power. His career influences the changes to this game. Like I guarantee you the, the changes to scene 7 was influenced because of the fact that he made videos on the you know method itself. And I'm just saying like that's just how it is. Like it influenced the change and there's nothing you can do about it. But simply saying that oh well I'm not the reason why this happened. Why people think I have, why people think I'm the reason this happened. It's like, you can't really say that because it's like what I say. You're Ubisoft or Ivy Tower's most like valuable content creator. Like, you know, he is the Black Panther of the, of the crew games. You go to him for all types of news that portrays to the game and only the game. But yeah, I'm going to just leave that be. Cause I I could go on and on about that and I really don't feel like I put a whole I'll put a whole Bible verse of what I need to say to that 
in that specific community post anyway so i'm not going full on to but yeah it's either that or you know just straight harass ubisoft until they eventually give in and you know fix it or they can just do the dumb shit that they've been doing i can say oh yeah i like motorfest i can say oh yeah i like this about motorfest i like that about motorfest but at the end of the day i don't even like motorfest no more and the reason why is because ubisoft ubisoft killed the enjoyment of motorfest for me like they refused to fix the rap editor they secretively patched the 918 spider so niggas wouldn't notice. I forgot to bring that up before, and that's my bad. But yeah, they did that. It's, it don't even seem fun no more. Like I said, the multiplayer is just trash. Like, there's no live battle type events. Like, and the crossplay was also capped. They claimed crossplay before the game came out. And when the game came out, you still had to buy a game on a whole different platform just to play with your friends. Like, that shit was so fucking stupid. The only crossplay that exists was fucking Fortnite with Cars Beta Edition and Fortnite with Cars Official Release. I'm like, bro. And then the leaderboards. So it's like, there's no such thing as crossplay. You could have just said, oh, we have crossplay for leaderboards and multiplayer, but. You know, he could have just said that and people wouldn't have felt and people wouldn't have thought that, oh, well, now we get to play with our friends and we don't need to buy another game on another console and all that shit. But no, anyway, the one thing that matters to me the most about the game doesn't exist no more. Like it's it's never going to be fixed. And when it does get fixed, I'm probably going to be on a whole different game after that. And I can't even refund the game because Ubisoft know how to say we don't care about our player base without even saying a damn word about it. Like they they need to give niggas a fucking refund at this point like they need to get they need to get the the cyberpunk the kill the justice league treatment and be forced to give niggas refunds because this shit right here is so ridiculous like i've been pushing for this shit to be fixed for so long and not a damn thing has been done about it and i can't do shit about it either and if i were to try to take it upon myself to do something about it guess what i'm just gonna be called a college entry because I'm not going to be able to get it fixed by my own, you know, worth of clout. That's how they, that, that's the only way they really going to do anything for real is if you have enough clout, attention, and recognition for them to benefit off of. And I ain't got that. It's bad enough I feel like I have to talk to a whole nother content creator that has the ability to get it fixed by chance. At least by, you know, at least just getting it out there so they can at least know it exists and they can put, you know, go towards fixing it for the next update. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I don't even know what to do no more. Like, I've made so many videos about this, and I can only do so much until I say fuck it. At this point, I'm not playing Motorfest no fucking more. And with the crew too, sadly, I'm not going to be playing that no more either. Because the only thing I do in that game is make raps. And I already told myself that, well, I've told other people too, that these line of these final line of raps that, that I'm doing are going to be the last ones I'm ever going to do. And I'm just not going to touch the crew too no more. But... I would have still been playing the crew too if I still played Motorfest. But since I'm not going to be touching Motorfest no more, there's no reason to touch the crew too no more. So when I finish this, you know, rap showcase video, even though I said I would do a second part of it because I forgot the limitations on how many raps you can have in the crew too without having to delete. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not even going to be like, I'm not even going to do that. Like, these lineup raps are going to be the last ones I'm doing and that's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's just how it's going to be. Like, I don't want it to be like that, but I just can't deal with Motorfest. And the crew tools only value for me is the summit so I can put the cars on the crew Motorfest and do raps on it. But then I but then I can't do that because the rap editor broken. And the only way I can make raps is if I go on a whole nother account, which I did. And I'm not, I refuse to go through that much pain. Like, I've, I've gotten so far already to that account that I don't even want to keep going no more. It shouldn't even come to the point where that you have to make a whole nother account just to make raps. Because keep in mind, you still have to grind the game out to get cars that summon additions anyway. You see what I'm saying? So now you're just wasting hours upon your time on a whole nother account that you could be wasting on your main account. But because Ubisoft refused to do the one thing they should have been done long ago, which was fix the fucking rap editor. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what's the real point of playing this game? Like, if you like me and you make raps and you enjoy making raps more than you like racing in the game, it's like, what's the real point for me to make, you know, raps in this game if I had to go on a whole nother account to do it? Because Ubisoft refused to fix something that's been in the game since last year. And that I know tons of people talked about already, but the only reason why it's not talked about and it's not, you know, aware because no big YouTuber who makes you know, crew videos that have a big enough fan base has talked about it. And it's still only on the 
you know, rap glitch, that was when the game came out for the very first time, which was the custom decal glitch, which has nothing to do with this current glitch that's, getting, that's in the game that I made videos on. But yeah, that's basically it. Basically, I, I, that's, I needed to make this video because it's like, I need to just tell myself the real and tell other people the real that I just don't like this game no more. And I want to keep playing it, but there's, I just can't get the energy to do it. Like I just can't, nor will. Like it's just impossible for me. So yeah, that's, that's basically it. Carbon video, well, Carbon Redux video coming, like, you know, the playthrough, cause I promised that. And a, a fix came for the game too. So that's good timing because now I can actually be okay with the fact that the game is not going to be as broken because it was kind of broken when it came out. That's about it, and I'll catch y'all in the next videos.